Hi guys, welcome to Kundalini for beauty, radiance, and longevity. This is one of my favorite Kriya sets to do. You can do this one every day for 40 days. It really does help with um, the circulation to your skin and um, working those muscles in the deep core that kind of help you stand up with no arms. So that's kind of the muscle activation we want to build for longevity. Studies have shown that people who can stand up from seated without using their hands have a longer lifespan than people who don't. So it's one of the indicators of longevity. So we're working that. I love Kundalini. Like I said before, it has been passed on from ancient yogis. It's the oldest style of Kundalini, but sometimes they don't tell you why we do things. And so just the scientist in me, I have to research why. So I think with the beauty and the radiance, um, a lot of it's bringing the circulation to your cheeks, um, you know, and being inverted, inverting your head is good for the skin elasticity. It pulls it back and kind of keeps it taut. So I think that's the reasoning behind that. But either way, here we are. Come to a comfortable seated position on your mat. I really wanted to do this one on the beach for you guys, but as you can see in the background, it's raining. So we're here. Let's make the most of it for the next 30 minutes. So easy seated pose, dominant leg either in the hip crease of the opposite or just one leg in front of the other. Settling into the body, grounding the body into the earth. Spine is straight, so we want a straight energetic flow from the tailbone connected to the earth, straight up out the crown. Roll the shoulders back and down. Bring the palms of the hands together, showing gratitude to yourself for showing up today. Gratitude for one another, creating this space in our bodies to heal. Start to rub the palms together, get those nadis activated. Find a soft flex in the bottom foot to ground you into the earth. Seal the lips together. Start breathing through the nose. Find stillness in the palms. Press the thumb knuckles into the heart chakra. We begin each Kundalini session with the Adi Mantra three times. Om Namo Gurudev Namo. It means I bow to those who have come before me the inner wisdom within me and all those affected by my energy. Big inhale, fill the belly up. Um. facing up on the knees by your Gyan Mudra. Let the energy settle and let's get started. Bringing the arms up over the head on a 60 degree angle. 60 degrees is what connects your aura to your chakras. So find strength in the arms, straighten the elbows, grab your bike handlebars and make a fist, thumbs pointing in. Seal the lips, fire breath through the nose for one minute. Ego Eradicator, let's go. Inhalation and exhalation are even. We are pumping through the belly.
20 seconds to go. Keep going. Breathing deep. Filling that belly up. Five, four, three. Keep going. Two, one. Great job, guys. Slowly lower the hands onto the knees, combing the aura with the fingers all the way down. Elbows into the ribs. And just take a moment here to let that energy settle in the work we just did. Reset, spine straight, mouth closed, belly button to the spine. Find your counterclockwise rotation. Sufi grinds. Belly button into the spine, so it's an inhale on the forward, exhale on the back. It's warming up through the lower chakras. So I want you to think about making a triangle with your two sits bones and your pubic bone, and it's like a stamp. You are making a triangle stamp. You can make it as big or as small as you want, whatever feels good to you. Kind of work into those hips, get them a little bit open, and start activating the kundalini energy in the base of the spine. So we move the kundalini up in the base of the spine, all the way up through the pineal gland at the end of class. We do this in a systematic way through the kriyas, so that we can actually create almost double the amount of spinal fluid we started with, and then use that new fresh spinal fluid to go through the ventricles of the brain, break off any calcification so that we don't have a stroke later in life, um, and then also just open our intuition, our pineal gland, make it a little bit bigger, counterclockwise first to clear out old energy, and now we switch to clockwise to bring in new energy. So while you're doing your clockwise spirals, think about what you're calling into your life, what you want to bring in, health, longevity, anti-aging effects of this practice we're about to do. Keep the breath work synced. So inhale forward, exhale back. We're always exhaling on that round to push the air out. Take it a little bit bigger. Just warming up the spine here, bringing it in. Three, two, one. Hands on the shins. Exhale round, inhale, release. Exhale round, inhale, release. So think about pulling that kundalini energy from the base of the spine, the tailbone, using Mula Bandha root chakra to pull it up like you have a straw and you are pulling the energy up and back in like think about when you have to pee but instead of holding it by pushing down you're grabbing the pee and bringing it back into your belly button so we're going from that lower to the belly button pull it up exhale inhale keep the belly button engaged to the spine Shoulders pulled in nice and tight, elbows into the rib. Do you see how my shoulders are rounding back and down and I'm popping my chest through? So the pop starts at the belly button, open, close, open, close. These are called camel rides. tabletop position in all fours and kundalini our table or um sorry our cat cows are a lot faster than in vinyasa or hatha so shoulders over wrist hips over knees pull that belly button into spine big inhale drop look up like a cow moo <laughs> exhale round cat so push really dome the shoulders push inhale Going for one 
one minute. Go as fast as you can, make it big. So really extend and then press through the armpits to get a nice stretch here. So we hold a lot of lymph and a lot of accumulation in those armpits. So just kind of round through the armpit, release it down. Round and release, round and release. Coming up into your seated rock pose, we are going for washing machines. These really cleanse out the internal organs through twisting and breathing. So fingertips onto the tops of the shoulder blades. It's an inhale to the left, exhale to the right, keeping the elbows up, shoulder height. You get dizzy, you can close your eyes, focus on that third eye space. And let's get started. This is a great core workout, great for your waist. So keep that belly button engaged into the spine as you twist. 
Keep the chest shining forward. during the day, use technology, kind of punching over. This prevents that punch um, posture as we age. So come on, hands, palms to facing down in front of the knees, kind of out on an angle. You're gonna exhale, round. Inhale, release. Big deep breath, fill it in. Exhale, run it back, hold here. Lock out the mula bandha. Press the chin to the chest. All the air is out of the body, hold. Four, three, round deeper. Two, mula bandha, squeeze harder. One, exhale, take the hands out in front, palms facing away. Interlace the fingers behind you, left thumb in front of the right. Squeeze the palms together, extend the elbows straight, exhale, fold forward, tap third eye to the mat, let the arms come up and over, inhale, all the way up, exhale, fold, tap, inhale, extend back, reach. Two more. Last one. Meet me forehead to the mat. Exhale all the air out. Slowly just let those arms fall up and over a little bit deeper. Breathing into that armpit area, into the shoulders. Big deep breaths here. Here under your bra strap area, 
and you can be here using all modifications. So we are starting now. I want everybody to try and start here from the palm. So squeeze inner thighs together, squeeze knees together, and just breathe. Close the eyes, meditate on that third eye spot. Think happy thoughts, put a smile on your face. Just using those muscles to smile can change your neurochemistry. We've learned that, so just do it. Just do it, smile, smile through it. If this is still too much, you can do one leg at a time. We're 45 seconds in, so I'll give you a little time stamp so that you know where we are and so that if you're doing one leg at a time or you're bending legs, you can make your adjustments. Shake is real. Shaking is your nervous system regulating itself, so just let it happen. It's good, it's good for you. Shake it out. We're halfway through.
Inhale back, exhale forward.
you're at home and you'd like a longer meditation, pause me, continue on up to 31 minutes. If you're short on time, roll over onto one side of the body. And just find a rub between the palms and the feet, grounding that naughty energy activation that we just got going during class. Grounding yourself back into your body, grounding the energy we just created. And come lying onto the side. When you're ready, press yourself up to seated. Eyes closed, hands in prayer at the heart, showing gratitude to ourselves, our bodies, the ability and willingness to come and move practice together here today. So when I say that beauty comes from the inside, I really mean that if you have chaos going on in the inside, your outside, your aura, your energetic field, the way you make people feel is not gonna be good. It doesn't matter if you're the most aesthetically beautiful person on the outside, if there's chaos and disharmony and disease, disease on the inside, you're not gonna radiate an aura, an energetic frequency that's gonna make people think that you're attractive at all. It doesn't matter how beautiful you are. And that's captured even in pictures. I mean, it's just so, we really work through clearing any type of chaos, any type of energetic blockages, any type of trauma and bringing circulation into those areas of the body so that we fix our energetic frequency and we don't have disease and we don't have chaos going on in the inside. And so we appear more beautiful because we make people feel good about themselves and we bring a pure light into this world. So my wish for me, my wish for you is that we are a clear channel for pure light energy. Thank you all for practicing with me. May the long time sun shine on you, all light surround you, and the pure love within you guide you on your way. Namaste, yogis. This was a good one. You can do this every day, 40 days. Clear that energy. Become beautiful. Become <laughs> anti-aging, all the things we love. Thank you.